Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through one more problem to find the critical path, mean and variance. Okay, yes. So basically here also he gave the activities, the optimistic time, pessimistic time and most likely time. So if you notice here, the rows are being shuffled. So that is the reason why please remember the formulas instead of remembering any kind of short tricks. Yes, please remember the formulas, okay. So the formula is nothing but optimistic time plus pessimistic time plus 4 into most likely time. Okay, so remember that most likely time should be multiplied with 4. That's it. That's the major thing and whole divided by 6, right? Yes. So you will be using that. So basically, first of all, draw the activity diagram for this guys. So from 1, you are going to 2. Okay, from 2, you can go to 3 and 2, 4, 2, 5. And from 3, you can go to 4. From 4, you can go to 5. From 5, you can go to 6. So I just read from there guys and I've just shown here. Okay, so now we have we are done with the activity diagram. So once activity diagram is done, you will be calculating the mean. So the formula for mean is nothing but optimistic time plus pessimistic time plus 4 into most likely time right by 6 so using this formula you will be solving it and you will be getting these mean values so these mean values are nothing but the values which are here right so the costs or the time taken for a particular process okay so i did not solve it step by step guys please solve it step by step in your examination okay so i have directly drawn the network diagram okay so i updated with the values so now your question will be so here what is the starting point again observe it carefully where we can start we can start at one and visit everyone so here the path is between one to six right so what are the different paths so from I, one i can go to two from two i can go to three from three i can go to four from four i can go to five and from five i can go to six similarly from one i can go to two and from 2 I can go to 4 and 4, 5 and 6. Similarly from 1 I can go to 2 and I can do a long jump to 5, to 5 and 6. So I am just writing all the possible paths guys. Okay. So now please calculate the costs. So these are the costs and which is maximum that will be our expected time. So always convert this into some normal numbers guys. So 44 unit time. So I think in the question we did not mention its date or months or anything. So that is the reason why we took it as unit time okay yes so similarly you can calculate the variance also i hope everyone remembers the formula of variance tp minus to so the trick is a tpo guys by six so tpo in that way okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this problem solving so in the next lecture we'll be discussing or we'll be starting with one more type of a problem in which he will not give you the table guys okay guys there are no basic method names here so that is the reason why i'm just saying you with respect to questions. So if he is giving the optimistic time, pessimistic time and all those things and asking critical point, critical path, you will be solving with this method guys, the variance mean method. Okay. So if he is not giving those things and if he just gives the diagram in this way. So here he is not giving anything, right? So he just gave the path like the whole diagram, the network diagram with the cost. That's it. He did not give any kind of mean, sorry, optimistic time, pessimistic time. So here you are having a mean, but you cannot calculate the variance, right? Yes. So using this mean, how can you do it? So that is what we'll be discussing in the next lecture, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.